The following will be Lesson 4, General Medical Q&A Dictation, 120 words per minute for 5 minutes. Ready? Begin. Question. Are you a physician duly licensed to practice your profession in Arizona? Answer. I am. Question. How long have you been practicing? Answer. Since 1982. Question. Will you tell us, please, something about your education? Answer. I graduated from medical school in 1972. I completed a year's internship, spent two years in the Army, spent four years in residency training in internal medicine after my discharge, and three years on research fellowships. Question. Will you tell us, please, what your hospital connections are, doctor? Answer. Pima County Hospital. Tucson City Hospital and Prospector Heights Hospital. Question. Are you a member of any medical societies? Answer. Yes, sir. Pima County Medical Society, Arizona Society of Internal Medicine, the American Heart Association, and the Arizona Academy of Science. Question. Do you specialize in any particular field of medicine? Answer. Yes, sir. Internal medicine. Question. Did you have occasion to see Mr. Stoner, the plaintiff in this case, on January 23, 1984? Answer, yes, sir. Question, will you tell us, please, where you saw him? Answer, I saw him at his home on King's Highway. It was the first time I think I had ever been to his home. His wife called me out there, I don't know, but it must have been about 10 o'clock in the evening on a rainy day, and he wanted me to... Do you want me to describe the examination? Question. Yes. Please tell us what your examination consisted of and what you found. Answer. I did a complete physical and neurological examination at the time and I looked for broken bones, possible fractures, tested his sensorium and mental state by questioning him and tested his various reflexes. I found it necessary to hospitalize him for further examination for possible fractures which I could not determine definitely by physical examination. The patient at that time was disoriented, confused, and not complaining of a thing. He did not realize for a while why I was down there to examine him. Feeling that the man had had a definite cerebral concussion, I had him hospitalized immediately for observation and further examination. Question. What did you do for him right at that time? Answer. At the time, I gave him Halidol to quiet him down. He was a little erratic at the time. He was confused. And I had his family, I believe it was his family, call an ambulance to take him to the hospital. I don't recall at the present time who actually called the ambulance, but it arrived shortly. The main purpose for having him hospitalized was for x-ray examination and observation. Question: Was there anything unusual about his appearance? Answer: Yes. He had contusions of his nose, his jaw, and his forehead, and he was unable to open his mouth widely. There was the possibility of a fracture of the jaw at the time, which was considered, and the possibility of fracture of his facial bones and also of his cranium. When he was in the hospital, did you visit him there? Answer, yes. I saw him twice a day there. Question. What was his condition when you saw him there? Answer. Well, the following day he was complaining of a great deal of pain, which apparently he had not had the night of the accident, which he was a little too confused to realize. He had difficulty opening his mouth and he was a bit restless, so we kept him under sedation. Question. After he got out of the hospital, did you see him again? Answer, yes. 
I advised him not to work for at least a month because when he got out of the hospital, he was still having fairly severe headaches. That concludes 5 minutes, 120 words per minute of medical Q&A. I noticed while dictating that I forgot to say question for one of the questions. I apologize for that. Hope you didn't get messed up from that.